This brand is the best. Welcome back to the ranch. We're here at the house. We've got a lot of stuff going on right here. That's our blow-in insulation for the attic here. We're gonna start doing that right up in here. We're gonna start working on the garage first, right up in there. And then whatever we have left, we're gonna start into the main part of the house. I'm gonna have to pick up more. I think I'm gonna need about 50 bags total. And I got 12 today, just cause I, all I really felt. Like. All right guys, before I was so rudely interrupted by the dying battery, we're gonna be working on some insulation up in the attic today. By next week, we will have water lines running in here. All I have to do is running all the plumbing in the walls, get that inspected, and then we can drywall the rest of this house. Let's go, I'm gonna get up in the attic there, start working on some insulation and get some stuff done. These come in little packages like this. Normally you just get the machine that fluffs it all up, gets air in there and blows it in here so you wouldn't have to do as much work up here. In order to get the free rental, you need to get 20 bags. I only need a couple just to get this a little more insulated. It doesn't have to be completely done. We probably will put another six inches up here when we uh, bring the machine in next week. But for now, this will do what we need it to. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. I looked up some videos and found some ideas and I came up with my own idea. I'm sure someone else has done it before. Right now, all I'm doing is just fluffing it up with a drill. All right guys, so I am down here back in the garage. We got all the insulation, at least what we need in there just to help with the insulation factor for now. Later in the week, we're actually gonna rent the machine and get the rest of the insulation. And it'll be a lot more efficient, but temporarily that paddle for the drill worked really well to fluff up this insulation. And it made it so I didn't have to rent another machine. It probably doesn't do as good as the machine. I know that probably wastes a little bit because it doesn't fluff everything up perfectly. But for a DIY, I guess, idea of how to fluff up blow and insulation without renting the machine, it works. It does. Right here, this is the paddle. I will have B put the description or put, well, I can't even talk. I will have B put the link so you guys can look it up. And if you guys want one, whether it's for drywall paint or fluffing insulation, you can do it. All right, everybody. I found some, no, I found, I, had ordered some stuff and I got a package. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got here. This is stuff that I purchased off Amazon and we will put the link to these in the description below. All right, we ordered some construction lights. So these are gonna be really nice. We're gonna use these in the crawl space and hang them up so we have light down there. So all we have to do is just plug the cord in and the whole crawl space is lit up. At some point we will put in some actual permanent lights in there with a switch. But for now, this is gonna work out really, really well. 100 foot strings of lights and they can be attached together. And so we can make a 200 foot string of lights. Right here is what you got. These are all little LED lights. And then you can just plug them in together. And that way our whole crawl space will be lit up. So I'm gonna show you guys. Probably I'm gonna put one string down there for right now. But then we can get these, uh, these lights hooked up and I can get down in there and Work on some plumbing. Oh, whoa. All right guys, so I've got a cord here. I'm gonna plug these things in and let's see how much it actually lightens this place up. And I'm going to shut off my other light here. I have one little light over here just so I can see what I'm doing. But let's see how much this actually lightens this crawl space up. Oh man, that is nice guys. That is stinking awesome. Just kind of make sure everything's up off the ground. We're gonna get a lot of thawing over the next week or so. I just wanna keep the cords off of the ground, but we've got plenty of light under here. This is gonna be awesome, guys. This is huge. It's so nice to have some light down here. As you guys can tell, this is a pretty tall crawl space. Like, here's my, I'm standing up straight under here. All right, everybody, welcome back to the ranch. The countdown is over. My man, Alex, he's back. And I live here now. How awesome is that, guys? It actually happened. It's really exciting. He's here to work. He's here to have some fun. He's here to start a new chapter in his oh, life. Yeah, a lot going on. It's a yeah. lot of work to move across the country, but yeah, the countdown's over. Super stoked. Woo, party time, guys. Okay, so over the next couple days, we're gonna be working on insulation in the attic, plumbing. This weekend, we have a friend coming who's gonna help us get all the plumbing done for the inside of this house so we can hopefully get an inspection next week, which means 
we can close in all our walls. We can move in. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we gotta finish stubbing the water lines up. Once we can do that, we can start heating this entire house, which is really, really exciting. And then we can keep going on cabinets and drywall and wood ceiling. <laughs> It is a sloppy, mucky mess here. This is how wet it is right now. Everything is melting. This is like a two and a half foot deep pit. Really annoying, I know. So, let's get back to work. Alex is outside clearing some snow up for us so we can get the installation in the house. But I did tell you guys I wanted to show you what water heater we got. We have the Navian. 240A. This very specific water heater has an internal recirculating pump. I don't know what the exact timing is, but I think it's like every half hour. Recirculates all the hot water. When you turn on your hot water, your hot water is on already because it's constantly staying hot. Oh, I just really like that because it's awesome. I was suggested this by another friend of mine who is a plumber. He was like, get Navian, it's the best. And I am 100% on board with it. I am going to suggest if you guys want a tankless, get a Navian. And you don't need this high end one if you have a really small house or something. This brand is the best. I think they are the best hot water heater for a tankless that you can get. We were able to fill an entire hot tub and have a washing machine and a dishwasher running and the hot tub got filled to 140 degrees. It was so hot that the sensors went off and it wouldn't allow the jets to fire up because the water was too hot, which is insane. Not big, it's less than 16 inches wide and it is approximately 27 inches tall by, let's see, 10 inches deep. I will have B put the link to this item in the description. Uh, like I said, you don't need to use this exact one. The one without the recirc pump is a little cheaper, but you can get lower end models too. And so we use it for our farm. We have exterior hot water spigots on the house. Uh, we've got uh, the washing machines, the dog washing stations, the dishwashers, the showers. Not a cheap item, but something that is 100% worth it. I've used other tanklesses. I've used some Ream ones and then uh, some other brands, and I just, I haven't really been happy with them. So this is the best. All right guys, welcome back. I'm sorry we did not film a lot today. We were working on plumbing, we had a friend come over and give us a hand. So I will just walk around and show you guys kind of what we got done here today. We have all of our plumbing already here, our venting, um, for our washer box as well. This is venting for the dog washing station. We've got drain in the venting hooked up for the bathroom in the garage. We have the drain in the venting hooked up in the laundry room for the sink there. And then we'll head on over here to the kids' bathroom. You can kind of see what we got going on too. Again, double sinks right here. Toilet all ready to go. We just need to put the venting in for the shower that's gonna go in there. Uh, kitchen, we did not do yet because we're still trying to figure out the exact, exact stuff. The loop vent that needs to go in there. So we need to do a little bit more research. And then if you come on in here, we have the venting for the bathroom vanity here, or the drains here for the bathroom vanity. And and then we just need to run the vent pipe up to the roof. We've got the line here stubbed out for the shower. And then we also have the line stubbed right below the floor here for the bathtub. And then next thing here is our toilet in here. And this is the venting for our toilet. Hanging loose right now because we still need to run it up through the attic. We got probably a good half of the main three inch drain lines done under the floor. There's a bunch of pieces that I have to go get. I'm thinking Monday I have some business to attend to. So maybe Tuesday we're gonna get back here and finish up all of this plumbing so I can call the inspector in. We'll be able to get the water line as well hooked up on Tuesday and then we're pretty much good. We got heat in the house. It's nice and toasty in here. We've got the furnace pushing heat here. We've got a fan down in there, sucking it some heat into the crawl space to kind of warm everything up. Uh, we have a dehumidifier running down in the crawl space to get rid of the moisture from all of the melting that we've been having here lately. I'm hoping by midweek next week, we'll be able to hook up a toilet, have a working toilet and a working sink here. As you can see, we got the hot water heater right here. So we just got to run some more lines. 
yada, yada, yada. All of the ceilings are drywalled except for the loft. And we have insulation all over in the attic. We're gonna have some more blown in there like I was just talking about. But for now, we've got enough to at least hold some heat in this house a little bit better. Anyway, that is where we are at, guys. This is the end of a day on a Friday, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to record a bunch today, but I also wanna respect the wishes of my friends. They're so awesome to come out and help. I've been fortunate to have quite a few friends that have been able to come out and help me with these projects, and so I really want to make sure that I respect their wishes that way. So when we get back down here on Tuesday, I will bring you guys with and kinda show you guys a little bit more, and hopefully we'll be able to get it all done on Tuesday, cause that would be Awesome. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And don't forget, don't, don't, don't forget guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so that you can come spend some more time with me in my house. And so you guys can see the dogs because I know that most of you guys like the dogs better than me anyway. That's all I'm gonna say right now, guys. You guys have a glorious weekend and we will see you guys on the flip side.